Yo, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Chuggies Fu, and back with Blue Moon Snipes on my side, and we are going to show you how to complete the full moon easter egg on black ops 3 now the steps are exactly the same as it was before where it actually originally got launched and released so yeah uh, if you want to do this moon on uh, moon easter egg on black ops 1 solo or solo on you know black ops 3 you can but keep in mind that if you do it on solo you need to have Shangri-La and Call of the Dead completed and on, on Black Ops 3 I don't think you actually need to do that because um, on Black Ops 3 I didn't complete it that much of easter eggs and uh, I still have the gold rod but I'm using the same accounts so maybe that's why um, on Black Ops 1 I complete all of the easter eggs so maybe that's why anyway so if you do it on solo you can but it will take a long ass time Definitely, definitely have a friend on your side, you know, not split screen, but private match, that will help you a lot. You can do it on split screen, uh, but, you know, you can, but I suggest you to do a private match. Anyway, with that all said, let's get straight into step one. Alright, now, step one is really easy, it just requires you to turn on the power, but all of these steps are not a order, so you don't need to do all, everything what I'm saying in order, just do it in order that you like and that's best to you. Step one is turning on the power, but what I actually do is, um, you know, get jug and stuff like that and then turn on the power. So, which brings my next point. When you spawn in and Juggernaut is available, try to get Juggernaut, but don't try to die. <laughs> You're not trying to die, right? Try to get the jug. With that done, you can teleport and turn on the power slowly. Now, if you have some gobble gums packed up, um, what you can do is, you know, have that fire seal, gobble gum, and try to get the wonder weapons or, you know, girth device and stuff like that, which will ex extremely help you out. But what you also can do is just have some perk bottles, um, so, you know, on the house and get some perks as well. So, do whatever you like, turn on the power, and let's get to the next step. Okay, so now the power is on and we can get back to step two or actually go fur further into step two now step two is really easy you need to go to the spawn area where you see outside you see those computer thingies yeah you gotta play a game a, like a mini game with samantha that little bitch what you need to do is play samantha says it's like simon says but then Treyarch zombies version or actually samantha's version it will show you a, a color you just press the computer that has that color first it shows you every single color red green blue yellow whatever Keep those in mind now some of the youtubers says like you know you can write it down and pause the game write it down and stuff uh, That will take you a long as time But you can do that uh, But I highly suggest you to keep that one in mind you know keep the colors and the orders all in your head and then just try them uh, you can fill Doesn't really matter um, Or get a friend whatever you know definitely keep a crawler though or a zombie or two and if you do this on co-op your friend can like uh, annoy the zombie and you know play with the zombie like in a sexual way and you know distract the zombie from hitting you so you can do the Samantha says now with Samantha says done let's get let's get further into the steps let's get to step three step three now step three is really easy all you have to do is get the hacker now hacker is located upstairs next to dead shot or uh, if you go downstairs just look at the area look at the books and stuff like that you can find it you will see a paper kind of thing um, if the hacker is not there then you can see a paper kind of thing that will let you know that that is a hacker uh, spawn area so just search for it it's not anywhere else it's just at that area downstairs upstairs or uh, the second floor, whatever, you know, so first floor, second floor, and the third floor, third floor, so go ahead and find the hacker, when you have the hacker, go into the second floor, and you will see on the, on the wall, you can see that four picture kind of thingy, if you stand next to that, or actually stand in front of that, it will take a picture and, t and let you know, like, access is denied or failed, whatever, what you need to do is hack that picture or camera thingy, and makes you, and, and, and you know, you know, just go ahead and hack that camera in front of you, and then you will have a minute to hack other devices. So go upstairs, and you will see these green 
you will see some devices that has like a green light to it um, so go ahead and hack those you need to hack four in total so upstairs will be one or two and then downstairs there will be like two or one doesn't really matter upstairs and downstairs so the first floor and then the third floor go ahead and hack those green devices if that's done go back to the camera don't have the hacker in your hands you don't you can't hack it anymore now you will see four cameras and you can interact with it now you have like two to three seconds to interact so you need for actually technically you do need four players but you can do it with one player or two doesn't really matter you can do it on solo so what, you, what I suggest you to do is go back to the, you know, uh, window area where the zombies spawn and then slowly walk forwards and keep interacting with it. Now, if you do it on Colo, it's like a bit, tiny bit delayed, so you will miss one. So maybe you will at least miss one, so go back to that one and hit it in the three seconds. And with that done, you are good to go on to the next step, step four. Alright, next step, step 4 is really fucking annoying and it's really time consuming, so this will take you a long ass time and you can't do anything to make this happen faster or slower. Well, you can make it slower by not ending the round, but it will be a pain in the ass, so all you need to do is wait for the game and let that excavator destroy tunnel 6, not tunnel 11, fire the whatever, no. Let it destroy tunnel 6, so when you hear that bit saying like, oh, excavation site on tunnel 6 is getting destroyed, let that happen. Don't hack that thingy and, uh, you know, rescue tunnel 6. Don't be a hero, you're not. You're, you're, you're gonna destroy the earth, so you're totally not a hero. Uh, what you need to do is wait for the game and get tunnel 6 destroyed. Now, that will take long ass time. Unless you're lucky, so what you can do is wait till round 6 or 7 and then, you know, it, it will announce like something's getting destroyed. If it says Tunnel 11 or Fire Dope, you can hack it or not, depending on you, but you can also like restart the game and then go again. Uh, but what I suggest you to do is just wait and, you know, get some points, go up to high rounds and then do it, which will be harder in progress, but again, the Moon Easter Egg isn't that, isn't that hard, so you should be good to go and you have extra perks. What you also can do is like try to hit the box, go to earth, teleport to earth, don't pack a punch any weapons guys, that's a waste of your points. Go ahead and if you have a gobble gun, whatever, double points, perfectly fine, go ahead and make some points as much as you can. Hit the box, if you get a crappy weapon, it's all good, teleport to uh, from moon to, to earth. And on area 51, get, get, get as much as points you can. So, you know, get your points and try to, you know, get your fucking points and make as much points as possible. With that done, you can hit the box while waiting, excavating sites to destroy whatever, uh, tunnel 6. So, when you do that, hit the box, get Gersh device, try to get the Gersh device first. Don't get the QAD and keep that one. No, you need to go device first, so if, that's why I'm suggesting you to do it on co-op because I I live streamed this had a pain had a pain in my ass because I was starting at round seven or eight to get the um, QAD after the step with the Gersh device, but I couldn't. It does it. I I, I have so many bad lucks, uh, so I died at the round of 28 or something because I still have no fucking QADs, so two player, if you have two players, totally fine, one of you get Gersh devices, one of you have uh, QADs, so get those, and then when excavated site is, you know, destroying tunnel 6, let that happen, when that is done, go ahead and hack the thingy so that the uh, excavation site is going away, try to fix what's already broken, make that disappear, and now if you go into tunnel 6, you should see Everything's destroyed, low gravity, so you need your PES uh, to activate. Do that, don't die, please. And then you will see an egg. What you need to do is shoot or knife that egg and follow the follow the egg. So it, because it will get stuck sometimes, and it will be on the floor, on the walls, or whatever, on the ceiling. Try to keep an eye on that egg. And if it the map is a bit dark, so turn on your bright brightness, and you know. Play with your settings, it's all good. What you also what I also want you to do is, you know, if you're doing this again solo or co-op, try to make a crawler. If you do this on 
if you, if you do this on co-op, tell your friend to distract this fucking zombie because it's annoying and it will fucking smack the bitch out of you and you will lose where the egg is stuck. So, anyway, you do need to open the other area and you need the wave gun, which is not a really pain in my ass. The wave gun isn't that hard to get to, so if you have fire cell, go ahead and get the fire cell, you know, get the wave gun out of the fucking box. Pro tip for you guys, get the hacker, go to the uh, uh, mystery box, hit the mystery box, and if you get a weapon you don't like, you just hack it, which costs 600 points. Don't worry, when you have a weapon that you do like or not, doesn't really matter, hack it again, and you will have your 950 points back, so you paid like 600 Call of Duty points or in-game points to hit the box, which is really cool, and you can like hit it like twice now. That's really easy, and when you have the wave gun, the egg will be stuck on the satellite thingy just shoot it with your wave gun doesn't need to be uh, updated no it's just a regular bullet right hit hit that egg where it's stuck with the wave gun and you should be good to go follow that again and then it will make its way to samantha's pyramid and it will get stuck in there now if it's not in the perfect shape thingy then that means that you need to play samantha says first Alright, the next step of the easter egg is step 5, and step 5 is just kill zombies where the tube is located. Because if you did the previous step correctly, then the tube will rise up and it is empty. Uh, so you need to fill that with zombies' souls. Now do that, don't kill the zombies that's too far, just, you know, and be careful, make sure you cover your ass. Uh, because zombies will spawn behind you a couple times. So kill the zombies and let the souls fill the the tube. Uh, you will see a color like blue, and even you know, even when you think it's full, it's actually not. So definitely try to kill one more until you hear the, a sound effect, and then the screen a bit shaky or whatever. Do that, and then you will notice another power switch left to you on like right next to the tube, and that is for this Easter egg step. When that's full. Hit that power switch, the second power switch of course, and then it will suck up the tubes and Samantha will rise up. And you will get like 90 seconds of death machine, which is really cool. But that will also bring you to the next step. Alright, now with step 7, you need a QAD. Now if you have a friend that has a QAD or yourself, go ahead and throw these QADs onto the thing that you just have teleported from Earth to Moon. So, you will see about the area of Quick Revive, you will see some random pets kind of thing, right? Go ahead and throw your QADs on top of that or arounding around that area so go ahead and do that and it will compl and and it will teleport onto the computer thingy and now you also need a cable or a tube some people call it a tube or whatever uh, i call it cable so go ahead and search for the cable now cable is a bit pain in the ass to find uh, but it's there so try to go upstairs where the hacker is located right go on the first floor go and look all around their area if it's not if it's not there go ahead on the second floor and try to find it there if it's not there go on the third floor and again if it's not there go ahead and go where the power switch is and it should be on the computers about around that uh, area sometimes it also can be located in um, in the area where uh, a stamming up is located so go ahead and check those areas as well uh, but most of the time i get it on where double tap is so double tap or maybe uh, upstairs like where the door is that you need to open so open your eyes and take a look and hopefully you will find it soon so with that done and you have the cable go ahead and go to the computer and interact with the cable right so with that done uh, Rick Toffin needs to go to the computer and and place the golden rod uh, in between those pads right 
So when you do that, when you did that, go to, Rick Dolphin needs to go to the computer and keep hitting square. Keep hitting square, interact with the computer, and definitely have a crawler or if you do this on co-op again, let your friend distract that zombie because you will get annoyed. Now there is no timing, there is nothing, you know, if you stop mid, uh, whatever, like you will hear, uh, you will say Rick Dolphin say something out loud and then you will hear Max's, and when you stop interacting with it you actually stop the step but you can actually resume so there's no time limit or whatever all you have to do is go back to that place and then hit square again because we because as in the video you can see me big big time failing blue moon Stein was throwing a qad teleported uh, teleported us to random places so yeah i need to re make my way back to that computer but i started to interact again it's all good keep interacting with that and then you will know when you can pick up the golden rod because it will be like glowing and the computer screen will go to green it will say access uh, confirmed or whatever whatever so you locked into the computer you have the golden rod you are good to go to the next step from production. You should never have tried to steal the plans for the MTD. Stop the madness, Edvard. We were supposed to help the human condition, not destroy it. Indeed. But now you are dead. But your little girl is going to be next. She is the source of madness. <laughs> not I. She is just a little girl, Edvard. She doesn't even know what she's doing. Don't deal it. Goodbye, Dr. Maxis. Security override active. Alright, the next step requires requires you to fill up four tubes. You did one previously, but now it's time for you to fill four, which means you need to kill about 200, 300, I don't know, but it, it's like 50, maybe even 85 kills for one tube right yeah you need to do that four times now uh which can be a bit annoying but if you have good weapons go ahead and do that you look at the bright side you get three points well not three points but you get points and progressing the step so if you don't have the golden rods that that means that you do need to complete shangula and call of the call of the dead easter egg first um yeah so yeah Hit your press on your touchpad, and you should see your golden rod. Kill some zombies around the area of the tubes, and that will fill up the tubes. We actually missed one a tiny bit of a tube on the right side, uh, but I, I noticed it, and we filled that one too. And then that moment, Rick Dolphin and Samantha will switch souls, and you will play Samantha, kind of. So, which is really cool, and you get the perks, which is really awesome. But we're not done. You do have the you do have the um, perks and rewards and stuff like that but we're not done you will hear Max is saying something and you and he will let you know that you can minimize the chaos that you've done that you guys have done uh, by listening to him and follow his step and yeah we need to do that let's do that on the next step Thank you. 
you are receiving this message, it means that Richtofen has entered the device. If you free me, I will help you minimize the damage that he will inevitably cause. Gonna need to start swinging here. Alright, the next step is really hard and a pain in the ass. Step 8, I think, if I'm not... Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is step 8. Anyway, what you need to do is... You remember you played Samantha Says? Yes, uh, you need to do this next level shit right now. Go to the computers and play Samantha Says. But this is a bit harder to do. Now, if you're on solo and you need something or more time and write on it, go ahead and do that. Uh... I s still suggest you to keep in mind and you know recognize the colors and whatever to keep that one everything in mind and then try to perform that shit but um yeah it's going to be a hard it's it's going to be a dick in your ass dude I'm I'm telling you so blue moon snipes did this and I was distracting the zombie uh he actually did quite fucking good and you can see that he had like a a tiny bit of lag every a minute or two so yeah but he still managed to complete this step and now that you have completed this step, what you need to do is the one that has the QADs needs to throw the QAD, like one, uh, on, on front of the egg so that, that it teleports the egg to the Samantha Says computer. Uh, this can be a bit tricky because there's like low gravity. Just try to hit it the exact good spot, so G spot for example. Just, you know, go a bit backwards and try to hit it, um, try to throw your QADs and make the the egg teleport to the Samantha says computers. Um, it's it can be it can be a pain in the ass, but he managed to get it in uh, like in first try, first attempt. That's really amazing, and we actually complete the whole Easter egg first attempt, so which is really cool. Uh, but yeah, with that done, now you need a Gersh device. If you do on solo, this will take a long ass time. But yeah, good luck with that. But if you're on you know, on co-op, I had the Gersh device, so, yeah, we were good to go. So, the one with the Gersh device needs to go to Samantha Says computer and throw the Gersh device to teleport that egg to Maxis. So, as you can see on the video, you can do that, and it's really good, it's really easy. Um, but yeah, and then you are done with the easter egg, guys. The Earth will be destroyed, and you can actually see on the remastered version of Moon, you can see trench shit like the thing like the trend shit map and that is really amazing that's really cool now let's have a look and the zombies will have blue eyes again i recorded this in theater mode so glitches will happen maybe the zombies already has blue eyes i don't know why but that's just a glitch from theater mode but let's take a look and yeah let's let's see what's gonna happen right
Need to round up some rounds. So there you go, we completed the moon easter egg in an hour and we were totally going fucking beast mode guys, we did it. Now if you have did it, congratulations, you are fucking awesome. Now guys, if you are new, go ahead and subscribe because we will do another easter egg, maybe on Shangri-La, maybe Ascension, maybe, I don't know, uh, Origins, we don't know, but we will do one and we will stream that one as well and maybe even make a video like this uh but yeah guys that's it for today's video if you're new go ahead and subscribe i make lots of awesome videos i make tutorials funny moments montages uh special videos and i of course stream where you get to play and join you know where you get the chance to join in the game and you know we have fun we can do skype chat and stuff like that i got lots of videos up and running for you guys but yeah for the ones that are already sexy so already been subscribed to me thank you i highly appreciate it bro and you guys are fucking awesome and um yeah you guys are sexy i'm a beast as well we completed this and guys go ahead and subscribe to blue moon snipes as well this video was not possible if he wasn't there bro blue moon snipes if you're watching this i wanna fucking thank you and if you were right next to me i would suck your dick no, I'm but yeah thank you i highly appreciate it we had fun it was a gg bro it was a gg um, yeah, so go ahead and definitely, definitely support his channel as well. Go ahead and like his live stream because he live streamed actually when I was live streaming this, so which was really, really cool. Go ahead and support the channel by subscribing and maybe, maybe even liking a video. And you know, you can consider uh, supporting this channel too, though. You know, <laughs> but yeah, guys, with it all said, I will catch you guys on the next one. If you have this DLC, guys. Go ahead and comment down below, add me on PS4, PS3, Steam, whatever you want, everything is in the, is linked in the description box below, as well as Blue Moon Snipes YouTube channel, go ahead and check it out, add me on those social platforms baby, and uh, yeah, everything's in the description box below. I will catch you guys on the next one, peace.